I'm Dr. Julie Lin Wong. Canada has one of the best healthcare systems in the world. Today, we can deliver better healthcare by using technology to save lives, time, and money. I founded 3D for MD, a social enterprise which uses 3D printers to impact over a billion lives. We're building a digital library, like iTunes, but instead of songs, people can select and download crowdsourced, quality tested, 3D printable files that are lower cost and can be personalized. So, uh, uh, that are lower cost and personalized medical supplies that you can make on demand locally. One in seven Canadians has a disability, and because of a shortage of skilled workers, many people with disabilities can't get assistive devices that allow them to participate fully in everyday life. We make award-winning 3D printable assistive devices that can be made on 3D printers in hospitals, public libraries, universities, schools, print shops, and people's homes. And this saves time and money for people with disabilities. Like this pink prosthetic hand we made for a Guelph girl that cost $25 to make. She was born missing part of her hand, and her parents can't afford to buy her a new prosthetic hand every year she grows. Or these 3D printed custom finger splints we made for a Toronto woman with cerebral palsy. Instead of booking and paying out of pocket for an appointment with a uh, healthcare worker, now she can go to a public library, pick the color she wants, 3D print a replacement custom splint for less than $2 a piece and not have to miss work. 1.4 billion people lack access to electricity. And in many remote places, simple medical items are expensive and can take weeks to months to arrive at a clinic. We've designed and tested a solar-powered, ultra-portable 3D printing system that fits inside a carry-on suitcase and can make a range of medical supplies on-site to save lives, time, and money. This is a replica of a custom finger splint we printed for a Toronto patient. It's made out of 25% recycled plastic drink bottles. Today, it's possible to take plastic waste, add fresh plastic, recycle this to create printer feedstock, and make medical supplies with 3D printers powered by solar energy. 3D printing can reduce poverty because having a 3D printer is like having a mini factory on your desktop. We are invited by the World Bank to teach students how to use 3D printers to start their own companies and build sustainable livelihoods. Astronauts can't take everything they need with them on a long space mission. We're scheduled to 3D print the first medical tools on board the International Space Station. We've made over 10 3D printable surgical instruments for astronauts and the five billion people on Earth who lack access to safe, timely, and affordable surgical care. With 3D printing technology, physical objects can be stored as digital files. This allows us to crowdsource innovative designs on an unprecedented global scale. And now anybody can be an innovator because if you have an idea, you can draw it digitally using free software, and you can make it physically real by clicking print. So I founded Medical Makers, a global community of innovators, healthcare providers, and patients who make sustainable solutions to save lives, time, and money. Jody on the far left joined Medical Makers when she was 16. I taught her how to design and 3D print medical supplies. She's now a co-inventor on seven pending patents. She's 17. <laughs> this device measures two-point discrimination, a test of nerve function. It's very accurate and reliable. The problem is, is that it's very expensive. This is the device that most doctors use. A paper clip is cheap and convenient, 
but it's not accurate. So Jody used free software to make a 3D printable two-point discriminator that's shaped like a ninja star. This device is much more accurate than a paperclip and over 10 times cheaper than the gold standard device. Plus, the case is 3D printed, and we can personalize it with your name. The future is here. The future is now. By harnessing our collective creativity and compassion to make healthcare better for Canadians, we make medical solutions for patients we know, people we will never meet, and will continue to help people after we're gone. So join us. Together, we can do so much to save lives, time, and money. Together, we can make healthcare better for the five billion people who lack access to surgical care, the two billion people who live on less than $2 a day, the 1.4 billion people who live without access to electricity, and the one billion people who have a disability. In closing, this is my 3D printed Star Trek selfie made on a replicator. <laughs> I hope you all live long and prosper, and may the force be with you. Thank you. Thank you.